All I heard were lies, lies, lies. Music, faith, and hope are all that George Powell has behind this glass. He spent over 10 years behind bars for a crime he says he didn't commit. And I know that they lied, 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 cause it wasn't me. In a two hour sit down interview, he tells his side of the story. I'm absolutely 100% innocent. This video could be the key to Powell's freedom or another 18 years behind bars. It was June 9th, 2008. A man walks into a Colleen 7-Eleven and robs it at gunpoint, demanding money and cigarettes before taking off. At the time, police believed this suspect was connected to four other robberies around Central Texas. On the day of the 7-Eleven robbery, George says he was out selling CDs of his music and then went home to his family. I'm more, I'm, that man is heartless. He's pulling guns out, he's robbing women. In stories, he's a coward. That's what he is. And I'm paid the price for his crimes. George had been in trouble with police in the past for selling his CDs on private property. But when officers arrested him for an armed robbery, he was in shock. I just looked over my shoulder and I seen eight to nine Colleen Police Department officers creeping up on me with their pistols drawn on me already. And when they seen, I seen them, they told me to get on my knees. So I just got down on my knees. He stood trial in 2009. This video helped put him away alongside this letter from a jailhouse informant who said George confessed to him. But the informant later changed his story, saying he made it all up, hoping to get a better deal for himself. I don't even know who this guy is until I seen him take the stand. And yes, when I seen him, I'm like, what? And yeah, I was, I was, uh, I was angry about that. George was sentenced to 28 years. It wasn't the sentence. It was the guilty verdict. I mean, I was just hoping for one person on that, on that jury panel to say, there's no way, I don't believe it, and go back to that jury room and tell them, no, I'm not finding that man guilty. George and those around him began to lose hope. They kept this boy in jail for 10 years. It almost seems to me that uh, they're just trying to save face. Until George's pen pal turned fiance, Tamara Parsons, helped get him new lawyers with the Innocence Project, who specialize in fighting wrongful convictions. I definitely think we provided him with everything he needs to find him innocent. A major height discrepancy is leading George's innocence claim. Victims and experts put the robber between five foot six and five foot eight. George, however, is six foot three. Shoot, I want to fight for my life because I'm a fighter and I'm going to fight. George says the hardest part of it all is being separated from his 13 year old son. I can't teach my boy anything from in here. I love him. You know, I'm sorry I couldn't be there for him, uh, but it's going to be all right. He's a good kid. While his son and his fiance hold out hope he'll be set free. I actually, I'll actually, hopefully, I'll be able to stay like a whole summer with him. It would mean everything. I mean, not just to have somebody with me and by my side and be able to, to do things with, you know, have a, a normal relationship for once, but also to have my daughter have a father figure in her, in her life. Still, George thanks God for putting him in this situation. I mean, I thank God that this happened to me. Because when I get out of here, there is nothing going to stop me from success. I'm taking the top. But we asked him anyways. Hey, did you ever visit that 7-Eleven or go in and try and demand money or cigarettes? Matter of fact, my heart goes out to them victims. I'm sorry that you were robbed, but I'm not the one that robbed you. I had nothing to do with these robberies whatsoever. And I know that they you lied, decide. lied, because it wasn't me. Again, we are still waiting on the judge's decision. George says he isn't sure why he was the fall guy in all of this, but says he still hopes the real suspect will come forward and clear his name.